So this is for the dude or dudette, because I don't remember, that asks, are there more live chat apps, Andrew? And the answer is, yes, they are. Welcome. Hey Shopify world, my name is Andrew from EcomExperts.io, but you subscribe and you knew that. We're looking at another Shopify app that we are reviewing today because that is what we do on this channel, y'all. And today we are looking at Talk. Now Talk, someone commented on a previous video, I don't remember which one, maybe it was in a rewind video, that they were like, hey cool, oh, it was in a Tido video, Tido, Tido. It's Tidio. That they were like, oh, are you know, are, do you have any free chat apps? And we're like, you know what? We should do a free chat app. So this is why we're doing talk. You see, if you comment and you let me know what you want, I'm going to do it. Do it! Talk has a 4.5 out of 5 star rating, something about 200 reviews. And we're going to show you what it looks like. We're going to show you the alternatives, what it integrates with. Before you continue, make sure to like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference. So smash that like and subscribe button. And also, we have an amazing Slack app that you need to check out. It's 100% free. You click, you install it, and it posts Shopify news, very concise. You can title read straight into your Slack so that you're always aware of what's happening in the Shopify world. Ah, let's go see Tom. The app is installed and first we need to create a talk.to account. Uh, name, email and pass, nothing new. So fill it in real quick and let's click on the sign up for free. We created our account successfully and the start guide just opened. The first step is the language selection. Around 20 languages are available and I guess we're going to choose English. Very innovative, Andrew. Nice job. The next step is the property details. Here we should enter the store name and the site URL. This is an automatic field with most of the apps, but not really an issue since it will take us less than a minute. The next one is team members, where we should add more agents to the services, which I like. The final step on the onboarding is about the code placement. It happens in very much the same way as with other live chat apps. You can choose to place the code manually on each page, or your shop can choose to do it automatically by selecting the Shopify from the drop down list. Uh, we selected Shopify and clicked on this green button right here. Okay, we are redirected to the Shopify App Store, but we uh, we already installed the app. Okay, let's go to our Shopify admin and from there to the app. Maybe this will help. So here we need to log into our account first using our credentials from a few steps back and then we click on login. A new window appeared for adding our live chat widget. Uh, choose your store from the drop down list and a new field appeared. Here we should choose the widget type, so click here and only one option is available. They are probably planning to add more widget types, but this is not the best image for an app this big. Anyway, uh, okay, click on use selected widget and now we proceed to the dashboard. We are on the app dashboard. First, you will get nine tips, which are very useful. The dashboard looks nice. I love the colors. The design is beautiful, minimalistic. Basically, this is a type of dashboard I wouldn't expect for a free app. You can see that they put quite some effort into it. I mean, don't you hate it when an app says it's $99.99 .99, and then when you enter it, you get some really basic template with some random buttons? This app is not like that. It's an easy to navigate design on the first page, we have nicely organized analytics, uh, just the basic ones that you would check a few times a day if you are a data geek like myself. And here on the left, we have a sidebar with a list of items you can browse through. All right, here in the bottom left corner, you can find knowledge bases with plenty of useful articles. Um, we want to customize our live chat widget first, and after that, we will check how this app works. From the sidebar menu, click on admin and we are on the settings page. First items on the list is the property settings. We already passed the widget code to our page in the start guide, so we can proceed to the widget settings. The first step is to change the widget name. We will go with um, need help and in that case you want to turn off your widget. Just toggle this button from on to off. 
The next step is to choose how you want your widget to behave on your site. Two options are available for the Shopify store, maximize or pop out window. Uh, we will go with pop out just to see how it functions in our demo shop. For the notification settings, you can choose to include or exclude a number of options listed here. For the purpose of this video, we will enable them all. Also in this tab, we can play with visibility and feature settings. All right, click on save and we proceed to the next step. No need to go back to the previous page, just choose what you want to edit from the drop down list here. Our next step is widget appearance. Again, a beautiful editor with live preview on the right. First, we have the desktop widget. You can choose from two different styles. We will go with this simple icon. In the first section, you can also choose to position and size your desktop widget. Also, there is a gallery button. Let's quickly check that one out. Click on the gallery and oh, so many beautiful icons, damn. And here you can even upload your own icon. I actually love how this looks. And all of this is free, that's pretty badass. And like John Green says, it's not swearing if you're talking about an actual ass. In this tab, you can also play with the colors of each element of your chat widget. Click on save and we can jump to the widget content tab. In this tab, we can customize how our chat widget will look like when we are online, away or offline. We are mostly interested in the fourth option, which is a pre-chat form. You can choose to not include this feature, but you can collect a significant amount of emails with it, so we will turn it on. Elements you can include in your pre-chat form are name, email, department, phone number, questions with input text, questions with a text area, multiple choice, or option choice. Uh, we will just ask for a name and an email, so click on both elements, and it looks very nice in the preview. Arla. Click on save, and let's see what the drop-down menu offers. We can customize consent form, availability restriction, and a schedule. Okay, let's go back to the app admin. From here, we can play with elements such as property members, shortcuts, triggers, webhooks, ban lists, departments, mail notifications, add-ons, billings, tabs, agent alerts, knowledge base, and data and privacy. Let's quickly see what we have in the add-on tab. I expect to see integrations, but no. Okay, here you can remove talk.to branding, hire live chat agents for $1 per hour. Okay. And buy a video voice screen sharing function for this app, which will cost you $29 freedom dollars a month. All right, it is time to test this app. Let's jump to our demo shop. Here is our widget. Looking good. Click on it and a completely new window pops up. Um, maybe the pop out wasn't the best idea looking back, but you know, that's the purpose of this test. Let's write something like, hey, I need help. The first thing about chats that you immediately notice is that they are treated a lot like calls. The notification sound for a new chat is literally the sound of a ringing phone and it will keep on ringing until someone picks up that call. Agents can either choose to message the customer directly or send a whisper. A whisper it will only be visible to other agents, which allows for several agents to participate in the same chat and coordinate in a way that is not visible for the customer. That's actually pretty smart. All right, that is it for this app, guys. Some final thoughts. Talk.to is a great place to start for small companies that want to give live chat a try. It offers a decent set of features for a free app and won't try to limit you at every step of the way by capping your chats or the number of people using the app at the same time. By the way, um, we made this video because it was requested in the comments for more chat apps. So there you go. Your request is fulfilled. However, when it comes to using chats for sales or customer service full time, I think using the app without any SLA or 24 seven support is a bit risky. When you use live chat for sales, it's not that hard to justify the cost of using a paid app. Even a couple of chats ending with a sale can cover the cost of running your chat for months. And when you get the guarantee that the chat will be up or that someone will help you when something happens, it's hard to argue against going for a paid live chat app. All right, guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope you liked and subscribed it and clicked the little bell because it makes such a huge difference for me. Check out our Slack app, make, let us know what you think, comment, because if you comment, we will respond and we will make videos about it or we'll solve your issue, who knows? Thank you so much for your time. We will see you in another video. Bye.